Welcome to Diabetes Academy, you trusted expert medical resource for diabetes. Have you ever wondered about the myths and facts surrounding metformin? Metformin is a household name in the world of healthcare, particularly in the field of diabetes management. It's a medication that's been around for decades, and it's one of the most commonly prescribed drugs for the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus, also known as T2DM. You see, the human body is a complex machine that requires a fine adjustment of hormones, enzymes, and other substances to function optimally. In people with type 2 diabetes, this balance is disrupted, leading to high blood sugar levels. That's where metformin steps in. It helps to lower these blood sugar levels, making it a vital tool in the management of type 2 diabetes. Despite being around for such a long time, there's a surprising amount of misinformation about metformin. The medicine is often covered in myths and misconceptions that can cause confusion or even fear among those taking it. These myths range from the medicine's side effects and long-term efficacy to its impact on other bodily functions and diseases. Today we're going to take a closer look at metformin, explore into its uses, how it works, and its role in managing diabetes. We'll analyze the science behind it, separating the facts from the fiction, and giving you a clear understanding of what this medication really does. So whether you're a diabetic patient, a caregiver, a student, or just someone curious about the world of medicine, this exploration will provide a comprehensive and easy-to-understand overview of metformin. It's always important to be well informed about the medications we use, and understanding metformin is no exception. It's time to put these myths under the microscope and investigate the truth. So, sit back, relax, and let's begin this journey of discovery together. Let's clear up some wrong ideas and check the real facts about metformin. Keep watching as we reveal the truth about one of the most often prescribed medicines globally. This video is here to explain the 20 most believed myths about metformin and present evidence-based facts to provide clarity for both patients and healthcare professionals. Now let's find out what's true and what's not about metformin. Starting with the first five myths and facts about metformin. Myth one, metformin causes hypoglycemia. The fact is metformin when used as a standalone therapy rarely leads to hypoglycemia. This is a common misconception that needs to be cleared up. The risk of low blood sugar is higher when metformin is combined with other medications that lower glucose levels. Moving on to myth two, Metformin is harmful to the kidneys. The truth is, current evidence suggests that metformin is generally safe for individuals with mild to moderate kidney impairment. So this myth is not true. Next, we have myth 3. Metformin is only for diabetes treatment. In fact, metformin is sometimes prescribed to manage polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, so it's not solely for diabetes treatment. Another myth, busted. On to myth 4. Metformin can cause a quick drop in vitamin B12 levels when starting treatment. The fact is, long-term metformin use may decrease vitamin B12 absorption, potentially leading to vitamin B12 deficiency. However, it's not a guaranteed side effect. If anyone taking metformin for long period, regular monitoring of vitamin B12 can help to manage this potential issue. Myth 5. Metformin causes weight loss. While some individuals may experience weight loss with metformin, it's not a universal effect. Metformin's primary role is to help control blood sugar levels, and any weight loss is a secondary effect and varies from person to person. Now that we've debunked the first five myths, let's move on to the next set. Continuing with myths and facts number 6 to 10. We're here to explain some common misconceptions about metformin, a medication often prescribed for type 2 diabetes management. Let's start with myth number 6. Allergic reactions to metformin are common. The truth is, true allergic reactions to metformin are rare. While some people might experience gastrointestinal symptoms like upset stomach, these are not true allergic reactions. On to myth number 7. Metformin causes gastrointestinal side effects in everyone. While it's true that some people may experience side effects like nausea, bloating and diarrhea, these are not universal. Everyone's body responds differently to medications, and not everyone will experience these side effects. However, some tips can help to reduce the severity of these side effects, such as starting on a low dose and slowly increasing doses over time. Use extended release metformin and taking metformin with meals. Generally, over time, these side effects improve. Now for myth number eight, metformin is ineffective over the long term. This is simply not true. Metformin has proven to be effective in long-term blood glucose control. It's a trusted tool in the management of type 2 diabetes. Myth number nine suggests that metformin increases the risk of cardiovascular events. On the contrary, metformin has been associated with cardiovascular benefits in individuals with diabetes. 
It's an important part of many treatment plans. Now come to myth number 10, metformin can replace a healthy lifestyle. While metformin is an essential tool in diabetes management, it cannot replace the benefits of a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a healthy lifestyle overall. With half the myths debunked, let's proceed to the next 10 myths. Here are myths and facts, number 11 to 15. Myth 11, metformin is addictive. This is a misconception. In reality, metformin does not induce dependency. It is a medication prescribed to manage blood glucose levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes mellitus, and it is not habit-forming. Myth 12. Metformin is ineffective in older adults. This is another myth. Metformin is often prescribed for older adults with type 2 diabetes and has demonstrated efficacy in this population. Age doesn't render this medication ineffective. Myth 13. Metformin causes memory loss. There's no substantial evidence to support this claim. Memory loss is not a recognized side effect of metformin. If you are experiencing memory problems, it's crucial to discuss this with your healthcare provider, as it may be due to other factors. Myth 14. Metformin causes infertility. This is a myth. In fact, metformin is sometimes prescribed to manage polycystic ovary syndrome, a condition that can interfere with fertility. In these cases, metformin can actually improve fertility. Finally, myth 15. Metformin is only for overweight individuals. This is a misconception. Metformin is prescribed based on the individual's metabolic needs, not solely on weight. It is used to manage blood glucose levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes, regardless of their body weight. So there you have it. Myths and facts 11 to 15 debunked. It's important to remember that everyone is unique, and how metformin works can vary from person to person. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Let's move on to the final set of myths and facts. Finally, we present myths and facts number 16 to 20. Diving right into it, myth number 16, all metformin generics are the same. This is a common misconception, but the fact is, while generics do contain the same active ingredient, the formulation can differ among manufacturers, so it's not quite accurate to say they are all the same. Next, we have myth number 17, metformin affects thyroid function. This myth is not supported by evidence. Metformin, in fact, does not have a significant impact on thyroid function. Moving on to myth number 18, metformin causes hair loss. This might cause worry for many, but the fact is, hair loss is not a common side effect of metformin, so you can breathe a sigh of relief. The 19th myth we are exploring today is, metformin requires strict dietary restrictions. While a healthy diet is essential for managing type 2 diabetes, metformin itself does not necessitate strict dietary restrictions. So, while you do need to watch what you eat, it's not because of the metformin. Lastly, we have myth number 20. Metformin is ineffective in severe diabetes cases. This is a myth that can lead to a lot of unnecessary fear and anxiety. The fact is metformin can be part of a comprehensive treatment plan for individuals with severe diabetes. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but it can certainly be an effective part of a broader strategy. That concludes our list of myths and facts about metformin. We hope this has been informative and has helped clarify top 20 misconceptions you may have heard about this important medication. Remember, it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider when it comes to medication questions and concerns. Now that we've cleared up the 20 most common myths about metformin, let's summarize what we've learned. Metformin, a widely prescribed medication for type 2 diabetes mellitus, is surrounded by numerous misconceptions. From false ideas about causing hypoglycemia and being harmful to kidneys, to misconceptions about its role in weight loss and vitamin B12 deficiency, we've cleared the air on these myths one by one. A key takeaway is that metformin is not just for diabetes treatment. It's sometimes prescribed for other conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome. It's also worth noting that long-term use of metformin may potentially lead to vitamin B12 deficiency, but it doesn't necessarily cause weight loss for everyone. While gastrointestinal side effects can occur with metformin use, they are not experienced by everyone. It's also important to remember that metformin has demonstrated efficacy in long-term blood glucose control and is associated with cardiovascular benefits. Metformin is an essential tool in diabetes management, but it does not replace a healthy lifestyle. It is not addictive, and it does not induce dependency. It's often prescribed for older adults with type 2 diabetes and has proven efficacy in this population. Metformin does not cause memory loss, neither does it interfere with fertility. In fact, it can actually improve fertility in women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Metformin is prescribed based on the individual's metabolic needs, not solely on weight. While generics contain the same active ingredient, 
The formulation may differ among manufacturers. Metformin does not have a significant impact on thyroid function, nor does it cause hair loss. While a healthy diet is essential for managing type 2 diabetes, metformin itself does not necessitate strict dietary restrictions. Lastly, metformin can be part of a comprehensive treatment plan for individuals with severe diabetes. Thank you for joining us at Diabetes Academy, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos. Before we end this video, it's time to make sure you're part of our community here at Diabetes Academy. If you found our exploration of metformin myths and facts enlightening, why not join us? Subscribe to our channel and you'll have a wealth of health information on diabetes at your fingertips, ready to demystify other topics in the world of diabetes. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video has helped clear up some misconceptions for you. Your likes help us understand what content is truly helpful, enabling us to create more of it. Then take a moment to share this video. There's a good chance you know someone else who could benefit from this information. By sharing, you're playing a crucial role in busting myths and spreading facts. Thank you for your time, stay healthy and informed with Diabetes Academy.